In this video, I want to introduce what physicists mean when they talk about mechanical energy, and then go through a few sample problems that you could see about mechanical energy. Mechanical energy is defined as the sum of the kinetic energy and the potential energy stored by a system. Well, in physics, we talk about, well, the kinetic energy, the energy of motion, and then there's two different types of potential energies. There's gravitational potential energy and there's spring potential energy. And so it's just the sum of those three energy storage accounts. What this doesn't include in terms of the energy storage accounts we have talked about would be thermal energy or chemical energy. So let's quickly look at three specific situations to think through what's going on with the mechanical energy of specific systems. One for a satellite orbiting the Earth or a planet at a constant speed. Another one, a box being pulled with some tension. And then the last one is going to be a book just lowered from some high height to a lower height. So in each situation, we're going to think about is the mechanical energy the sum of the kinetic energy and potential energy staying the same? Is it increasing or is it decreasing in each of these three scenarios? So first example problem, a satellite moves in a circular orbit around the Earth at a constant speed. So if it's in a circular orbit, it's maintaining the same height above the Earth and it's moving at a constant speed. So let's make an energy bar graph to think through like what's going on with the kinetic energy and the potential energies of the system. So the system is going to be the satellite in the Earth um, and it's moving, so it's got some energy stored in the kinetic energy account, and it's at a, a height above a height of zero. I suppose we could call a height of zero the Earth's surface if we wanted to. And so there's some energy stored in the gravitational potential energy account, let's say at position A. Well, whenever it gets to another position, it's at the same height, and it's moving at the same speed. And so the kinetic energy will be the same, and the amount of energy stored in the gravitational potential energy account at another time or position is also constant. And there's no, we're going to assume there's no other outside forces on the satellite and the Earth, and so we would say the work is zero. There's no energy transferred into the system or transferred out of the system. So what, we, what would we say is true of the system's mechanical energy? Well, it remains constant because the kinetic energy remains constant and the gravitational potential energy remains constant. So the sum of the two will be constant. Example problem number two is a box is pulled with a constant force on a surface with negligible friction. And we're going to define the system as the box and the earth. So again, let's make an energy bar graph and think about what's happening to the sum of the kinetic and the potential energies. Well, let's assume the box is moving a little bit in the beginning. So there's some energy stored in the kinetic energy account. And if friction is negligible and there's a force of tension up at an angle, this box is going to increase speed. It's going to accelerate in the positive x direction. So in the end, the box is going to have more energy stored in the kinetic energy account. If we make it simple and just say the box is a at a height of zero and it stays at a height of zero, that means there's no stored, there's no energy stored in the gravitational potential energy account. And if friction is negligible, that means there's no increase in thermal energy. So the box gained energy, kinetic energy, from position A to position B. It's because of the positive work done on the box by that force of tension. The box moved to the right, and there was a component of the tension force to the right, and so there's positive work done on the box. So what happened to the mechanical energy of the system? Well, there was just kinetic energy, and in the end there was also kinetic energy, but more, so we'd say the system's mechanical energy is increasing because the kinetic energy is increasing. The last situation is the trickiest, so let's think through this carefully. It's a book is starting from rest. It's lowered to a different vertical position at rest. So it's at rest up here and it's going to be at rest down there. And a hand just lowers it from a high position to a low position. So let's think about what's going on with the energy. And we're only going to define the system as the book. So is the mechanical energy of the book system increasing, decreasing, or staying the same? When we talk about a single object, a single object can really only store kinetic energy or thermal energy. And we're assuming friction is not really involved here. And so we're going to kind of disregard thermal energy. So does the book have any kinetic energy stored at position A? Well, it's not moving, so it can't. And at position B, it's also at rest and not moving. So there's no kinetic energy stored by the book, which means the book has no energy stored in any of these energy storage accounts. 
So we could actually answer the question already. We can say that there's zero mechanical energy in the beginning. The sum of the kinetic and potential energies is zero. And in the end, it's also zero. So the mechanical energy of this system stays constant. But let's just think a little bit more about what's going on in detail. Well, if we're considering the book as the system, there are forces on the system as the system moves downward. So the book is being displaced in the negative y direction. And as it's being displaced, let's assume that's feeling a force from the hand upwards and there's a gravitational pull downwards on it. And if this thing was moving down at a constant speed, then the force that the hand applies upward is the same as the gravitational force downward. So let's first think about the gravitational force. Uh, the gravitational force, if the Earth is not a part of the system, is an external force. And that means it's doing work on our book system. The system is moving down and the force of gravity is in the same direction. So we would say there's positive work on the book by gravity, on the system by the gravitational force or by the Earth. And what is the force on the hand doing? That would also be considered an external force because the person or the hand is not a part of the system. And the book is moving downward, but what direction is the hand pushing on the book while it's lowering the book? Well, that force is upward. So the force of the hand is in the opposite direction the book is moving. So we would say the hand is doing negative work on the book, or this is how we would label it. We'd show some energy leaving the system, and we'd call that negative work on the system or on the book by the hand. And if there's no kinetic energy in the beginning, and there's no kinetic energy stored in the end, that must mean the positive work done by gravity has to be the same amount as the negative work done by the hand. So the amount of energy entering the system is the same as the energy being transferred out of the system. Again, just saying the system's mechanical energy is staying constant. Okay, why? Again, at each position, the book system has zero energy stored. While the book is moved to a lower position, the positive work by gravity is the same amount as the negative work by the hand on the book. So we would say the net work on the book is zero. There's no net energy transfer in or out. Well, I hope this video has helped you understand what physicists mean by the term mechanical energy. It's just the sum of the kinetic energy and the potential energy of the system. And I hope that this helps you think through in a specific situation dealing with energy if the mechanical energy of a system, the way that it's defined, either increases, decreases, or stays constant.